टर्न ऑन लाइट थ्री सो एज यू कैन सी द लाइट इज ग्रोन अप नाउ लेट्स टेस्ट टू टर्न इट ऑफ Turn off the light. Now, as you can see, the light is turned off. Hello and what is up, guys? Samrith here from SOS Science of Sam, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a very basic home automation system using Google Assistant. This method will also work with Google Home and Google Home Mini. And the most important thing, I advise you to watch my previous video before watching this video because I'm not going to do the blink setup and a few more setups in this video. So without being said, let's get started. So basically, we are going to control our Node MCU indirectly by Google Assistant. But why I said indirectly? Because we are not going to control a node mcu directly by google assistant rather we are going to send command through google assistant to if triple t and with the help of webhooks we will talk about if triple t and webhooks later on and with the help of these two we will send command to blink and through blink we will send command to our node mcu and ultimately our light bulb or whatever appliance we have connected will work as it is programmed First of all you will need a ESP8266 Wi-Fi module along with the LED connection which we did in my previous video. The second stuff which you will be needing is a relay. You can use a single channel relay or a multi channel relay also. Male and female sockets and a pair of insulated copper wire. Connect one end of the copper wire to male plug and another end to the female plug. After connecting the pins split one of the wire into two pieces like this in this relay we will get six pins the first three are for input and the second three are for the output so in the input section we will get three pins first is in here we will give it signal in gnd and vcc we will give it power supply and here in the output section we get a common pin and one normally open and one normally closed pin now connect three female to female jumper cables to the input pin the ground pin and the vcc pin first of all connect the in pin of the relay to d4 of esp8266 and connect vcc to plus 3 volt and ground to ground so it is our final setup now let's move on to our mobile phone first of all go ahead and open play store or app store on your device and then on the search bar search for ifttt just get that app installed on your device i have already installed it so i'm going to open it so when you will open that app it will ask you to sign in through your google id so just make sure to sign in through that and when you will open it you will get this interface so just click on the rightmost button on the down and then click on uh, add button on the top and here it says if this then that it is the expand form of ifttt so if this will happen then that should happen just click on this and then search for google assistant then click on google assistant and then click on say a simple phrase so here it will provide you four columns so on the first column you need to write the command which you want to say to google assistant to turn on the relay so i am just writing turn on the light and on the second box we need to write another command for the same thing so i am just writing switch on the light and in the third box also we need to write another command for the same thing so i am just writing switch on the relay
and on the fourth box we need to write what we want Google Assistant to reply. So I'm just writing OK turning on the light. And then click on create action. Then if we will say hey Google turn on light then something should happen. So just click on that and search for webhooks. Click on that. So webhooks basically makes web requests to any server or any website and in this project we are going to use webhooks to create web requests to blink server so that we will get connected to our node MCU. So just click on make a web request. First of all in the URL section paste the following URL. You will get this in the description box below so go ahead and check that out. Now the things you need to change is that after two forward slash change the IP to the IP of Blink server of your country. You can get that through the command prompt by just doing ping blinkserver.com or you can just search for that in the internet. And after giving another forward slash just write the auth token which Blink has sent on your email. And after giving another forward slash just write update and again give another forward slash and write the pin number. We are using GPIO2 so I will write D2. I have already talked about GPIO and D in my previous video so go ahead and check that out. Now change the method to put and content type as application slash JSON and in the body select one bracket and inside double inverted commas write one we are using one because we have selected one as turning on the switch in our blink app you can change that by just clicking the button in the blink app in our blink app just click on create action and we made our applet successfully so just click on finish Go back and again click on the add button. Again click on this. Search for Google Assistant. Click on say a simple phrase. And here in the first box just write turn off the light. This applet is made to turn off the light and that another applet was made to turn on the light. And in the second box just write switch off the light and in the third box I'm going to write switch off the relay and in the last box I'm going to write ok turning off the light Then just hit on create trigger, then click on that, search webhooks, click on make a web request, again paste the same URL, and change the method to put, select content type as application slash json, and in the body inside bracket and double inverted commas write 0. We are using 0 as we have selected 0 to turn off the button in our blink app. Now just click on create action. And yes we are done with the mobile section. Now let's go ahead and test our project. So here I have connected the power supply to the socket and I have given power supply to my ESP8266 through a mini power bank and I have connected another end the female socket to my tube light. So let's check this circuit. Turn on light 3.
so as you can see the light is blown up now let's test to turn it off turn off the light now as you can see the light is turned off thank you for watching this video guys hope you liked it and if do so then make sure to subscribe my channel like this video and follow me on instagram and in my future video i am going to show you how to make a distance measuring sensor using ultrasonic sensor and arduino so up to then stay tuned bye bye